Question 11 says, the table below shows the quantity of maize consumed in a school for one week. The quantity for Wednesday is not indicated. So it says, if the average mass of the flour consumed that week was 45 kg, what was the quantity of flour consumed on Wednesday? Now, to get the flour, all you need to do is, since the average is 45, so this is going to be, 45 will be 40 plus 55 plus, let's call Wednesday x plus 30 plus 47 plus 30 again plus 48 all this divided by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this would be the same thing as 45 is equal to, so we are going to sum the total and uh, this will give us uh, 250 so this will be 250 plus x all over 7 at this point we'll cross multiply this will be 45 times 7 is equal to 250 plus x. 45 multiplied by 7 is going to give us um, 315 is equal to 250 plus x. From here, you can collect like terms and say 315 minus 250 is going to give us x. Therefore, our x will be what? Um, that's 65. So final answer, 65. So the correct answer here, it's um, D. So, question 12 says the area of a square plot of land is 1296 meters square. It was fenced using four strands of barbed wire. Now, for you, what was the total length of the barbed wire used? Now, for you to understand this question, um, okay, let's say this is the square farm. So, the area is 1296. So area is equal to length times length. So this is 1296 is equal to L squared. Therefore, L will be square root of 1296 first. So, and this will give us what? 36 meters. That's the length. Now, the length of the barbed wire, I want you to notice that this is the square farm. Now, this is how the barbed wire went. This is one, this is line one, line two, line 3 and line 4 so here you're going to have 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 4 and same thing here 2 3 and 4 and here 1 that's 1 2 3 and 4 okay so you might join them let me just join them okay now having done this i want you to know sorry don't mind the way i joined my barbed wires okay now having joined these barbed wires each of the length of the barbed wire like the length is 36 so that means for us to get the perimeter perimeter of one wire of one wire will be what 36 plus 36 plus 36 plus 36 okay so this would be 36 times 4 and that's going to give us what 144 meters now since we have four wires for four wires is going to be now 144 multiplied by 4 so when you do 144 multiplied by 4 you are going to get 576 meters and that's the correct answer, which is what? C. Okay. So, we're going to be going to question 13, which says, um, A Matatu left Nairobi for Mombasa at 1935 hour on Monday. The journey took 11 hours, 55 minutes. What time and day did he reach Mombasa? Now, the easiest way to solve this question is just to do 1935 hour plus 11 hours 11 hours 55 minutes if you can sum this up you will get your answer now in order to sum this up when you do 19 hour plus 11 you need to know that this will take you to the next day and it's going to give you six first of all okay um maybe let's do it this way since it's going to be confusing, let's add um, um, 
1935R plus 11. Let's add 11 hours. When you add 11 hours, it will take you to the next day and it will give you 635. And this should be 635 the next day, that's Tuesday. Then when you add 635 plus 55 minutes, now this will now give you 7 hour 30 minutes. And this will be what? On Tuesday. So the correct answer here, it's going to be A. So I'll take my A. So what we'll be going to question 14. Now, like I said, if you've not hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us. Now this question says the area of a triangle, triangular piece of land, it's three hectares. It has a base of 500 meters. What is its height? Now, first thing I want you to know it's one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square first. So having established this, he said um, the area of the triangle piece of land is 3 hectares. Therefore, 3 hectares will give us, uh, that will be 30,000. That's 30,000 meters square. Now, he says it has a base of 500 meters. What is its height in meters? Now, notice it says it's a triangular piece. Let's say it's something close to this and the base is 500. Now remember, um, we're looking for the height and the area, which is this, this is the area. Area is what half base times height, which is equal to what, 30,000. So for us to do this, we're going to do half times, now the base is what, 500 times the height, which is what, 30, okay, which is equal to 30,000. So, um, in order to solve this, we're going to cross multiply. This will be 500H is equal to uh, 30,000 multiplied by 2. So, this will be 500H is equal to what? 60,000. Therefore, our H will be 60,000 divided by 500. Our double zero cancel out the double zero. 600 divided by 5 is going to give us 120. So, our correct answer here is going to be. Um, D. So, Sakumai D.